Hi, my name is Walter Rowe. I'm a Capture One affiliate. Welcome to today's episode. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about how to use Capture One export recipes to prepare your images for posting on your Instagram feed. We're not going to post for stories just on your feed. First we have to know what the requirements are for posting to Instagram. Instagram has two requirements for optimal viewing on your Instagram feed. The first is that they want the images to be either square or 4x5 aspect ratio. The 4x5 aspect ratio can be vertical or horizontal, but 4x5 is the viewing pane that they give you if it's not square. The other requirement is that they want it 1080 pixels wide. Not tall, wide. It has to be specifically wide. So I've created an export recipe, and in the format and size panel, I have actually chosen 2160 pixels wide. That's twice the resolution of 1080, but for high DPI devices, that will give a nice crisp image in the Instagram viewer. I've also selected the ICC color profile sRGB, that's normal web posting profile, and JPEG format. So first we have to crop our image. I'm going to crop this image to 4x5. If I drag the center handlebar, it'll automatically crop the sides equally. Notice that it says that it's 2160 pixels wide. That's not because of the crop tool. That is because their export recipe says it's supposed to be 2160 pixels wide. The crop tool only sets the aspect ratio and determines what's in or out. I can drag this, make it smaller, get really tight it's still 2160 pixels. Notice the size didn't change. That's because 2160 pixels wide is the definition in the export recipe. And if I look under my view, proof profile settings, selected recipe is what I've selected. And in fact, the selected recipe is Instagram, which is my 2160 pixels wide. So let's go back here. We'll pull this back to full size. Actually, we'll, we will uh, go reset this and start over uh, so that we get, um, let me go back and do unconstrained and reset. So now we get back the full picture. We'll go back to 4x5, grab the center, crops on the sides. Perfect. I like that. And I'll go to this one. This is a vertical one. I'll crop this to 4x5. Oh, cropped from the top. Should crop from the bottom. There we go. Very pleasing. Now I'm going to uh, hit F3 and duplicate both of these. And now I'm going to crop them to square. I'm going to crop this one to square. Again, I'm going to drag the center handlebar so I get an even cut off the sides. And this one I'm going to drag from the bottom so it crops up from the bottom. And now I'll scoot this down just a little bit. And now I've got a square. A vertical 4x5, a square, and a horizontal 4x5. So now if I select all of these and I bring up the exporter, then I get a proof, an, an, output, an output proof of each of these images. So this is the uh, horizontal 4x5. Notice that it has a, a watermark over it. This is a text uh, over a transparent background in a PNG file that I've configured in the watermark tool. And here's the square version. Here's the vertical uh, crop 4x5. And here's the square version of that image. So this is going to output four images. I've configured a custom name in the output naming. They have the image name itself, which is just the file name, minus the extension. I have the recipe name as it's going to be called Instagram. And notice I have the variant position. If I just used the recipe name and image name, uh, then both variants, uh, the second variant would overwrite the first variant because in my recipe, I have actually configured existing files to be overwritten 
versus adding a suffix or skipping. So by adding the variant position into the token into the uh, output name, then I guarantee that each file will get a unique name and uh, we'll see that in just a second. So let me export these images. Go to the output folder. And there's our four images. And you can see this is a wider image, this is a square, this is a horizontal or vertical image, taller, and this is a square. So I'll just bring them each up in the viewer. And these are now ready to go post on Instagram. So it's not very complicated. Again, you just have to know the requirements for Instagram. It can, has to be square, or it has to be four by five horizontal, or four by five vertical. Hope this has been helpful for you. Look forward to having you join me next time. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash Walter Rowe and buy me a coffee. Uh, if you need assistance with Capture One, you can go to the Extras tab on my Buy Me A Coffee page and schedule time with me. I've helped a number of people and I look forward to working with you. Hope you have a great day.